Good morning, good morning. How's everybody? Oh, we're a little bit behind today. I started talking to Dali and I was like, oh no, it's Facebook Live time. Okay, let me just bring this up. Hello Paul, how are you this morning? I'm just posting this on a few um, groups. Good morning Terry, it's lovely chatting with you this morning. Okay, I think I'm all done. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Oh, good. Oh, good, Paul. I'm glad all is good. Um, as you can tell from my voice, I am feeling much better. Tired, but better. Okay, now let's make this bigger. Good morning, Gloria. Hey, Britt. How are you? Okay, you're working late last night. Good morning, Min. I love what Rob did. Um, you have to thank him for sending the picture to me. I do sound much better. Hey, Terry, I know. I went for a nice little hike um, on Saturday. I think cleared. Um, got some good fresh air in me. Um, wasn't too long, but it was good. Okay, so... Last week was quite short. I showed you how to make the fabric bag and um, that was lots of fun. Um, <laughs> you can go back and watch it if you want, although you couldn't really hear me talk because I was being squeaky squeaky. Um, what's new? What's new? If you haven't seen, um, I know a lot of you follow um, Paper Scissors Story with Cal Summers. She's based in the UK. And uh, she's done an amazing album with um, Birdsong. I wanted to call it Fancy Flora for a minute. Birdsong. It's an amazing, amazing album she's done. And she's got lots more coming um, with our books. So I'm very, very proud of that, as is uh, I'm sure Dali is. Um, so if you've seen it, good morning, Christy. And um, just a beautiful album and her take on it, it's just breathtaking because um, as you guys know, albums aren't my thing, but I am gonna try and learn. I think Dali and I have been saying that for a while. I'm sure we could make it. I mean, Dali made an amazing Christmas one when she was here um, with her mixed media spin. But yeah, check it out. Cal Summers Papers is a story. Um, amazing, amazing job. And like I said, I know a lot of you, um, a lot of my friends here, um, follow her Facebook page. So that's really nice. So do comment and support her. Um, what's going on? So I had shown the um, fancy floral. I'm getting all of the books mixed up in my head. The fancy floral card kit. They sold out in no time. However, Dali was kind enough. And I have a box um, coming today. Dali was kind enough to send me loads more because I was like, I don't want to cut into my box anymore because I keep selling out. So I just want to show you again, if you didn't get one and you would like to get one, uh, good morning, Pat. I'm just going to do a quick show of the card kit, um, eight cards, eight envelopes, just quickly uh, before I get going here in case you missed out. These are just absolutely stunning. They've got a lovely ribbon on them. Some really nice sayings too, don't worry, be happy. So appropriate for now. So if you missed out on the last round, um, I've got more kits. Uh, butterfly wishes because this is a butterflies written on again. This one has the black ribbon. And uh, let me see if I can go in order of how I made them. 
um, thinking of you looking through the window because I can't come and hug you. Um, good morning, Royette. Um, this one has red organza ribbon. This, well, life is, you know, full of roses. So life is beautiful. And this has a red ribbon. So two black organzas and two red. And then we move on into the circles and all the books that uh, Dali has designed have where you can use the die cuts on them. This is just a very nice thank you. Again, in um, the round, we have friends. These are all done from the Fancy Floral book that released um, in February. We have a new release coming up in April. Another 8 by 8 totally different colours. Um, there are some of Dali's favourite colours, again, her favourite colour. So I'll let you guess what that is. Happy birthday. And um, all you need is love. So very, very appropriate um, for this um, with COVID and everything. And for the new card kit, so, I mean, you can get both at the same time. The new card kit is another 3D card kit. It's an all-time favorite. I've worked with this uh, Stamperia pad so many times. It's not even funny. Thank you, Min. Um, it's not even funny how many times I've done mixed media projects with this. I've done layouts. I've, I've actually made a little album with this. So, thanks to um, Gail. Um, so, this set here is quite 3D. So you'll get pictures on how to do it. Um, this is a long tail with Alice in Wonderland. Curious, so I don't know if you can see, they pop up. This one's with the frame and the rabbit cut out. And these are six cards. And again, right here. So this will be this week's card kit. Usually I do two a month. Uh, yeah, Christy, I love it too. I use it so much. I think it's so versatile. And I just love the colors of it. So that is the kit. So the Fancy Floral is one that was done a couple of weeks ago for our release in February. And this is... Um, no, Fancy Floral was the beginning of March's kit. This is a second kit for March. Sorry, I'm getting behind. I've done so many kits this year. I think I've done this my sixth one. So that's the other kit. So let me know. I know you haven't seen these, Dahlia. I forgot to send you a picture. This was when I was on my roll of making cards. And Min, I know you're going to say, Pip, you always say you don't make cards. But I am actually really enjoying making the cards. The papers are really make it easy to work with. But I love these. So these are six here. So there you go. Those are, that's out the way. Don't forget Dali is on Thursday. Um, doing her Facebook live she was busy 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 designing we've got oh so many good things oh I had a little play around actually I should show you this Dali you didn't see the finished one either I took a a little baby chopping board and I used our create ink art actually you can see it right there Crate Ink Art and uh, created this really cute little um, little chopping board. Isn't it so cute? Very 3D. Don't know if you can see all the details in there. But um, loving the Crate Ink Art. I, I just want to work with every single sheet in there. Um, you want the chopping? I mean, I don't think the cutest, Dali. Like, they're only so yay big. They're just absolutely so gorgeous. Um, I have lots. You'll just have to come here and get some then. Um, but lots of detail, as you can see. Um, use some fiber paste there. Use some of our embellishments there. And some cogs and die cuts and light bulbs for her head uh, with a gorgeous butterfly. But anyway, just want to tell you, I do take time out, um, especially with being sick this last week. Take time out and play. I have a few other things on the go that I can't share right now um, because they're for our upcoming albums. And then Dali says, let's put on a Stamperia stamp sale, 30% off. Um, let's do it. What is the light bulb? It's a clear type sticker, um, Gloria. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, thanks, Britt. Thank you. 
you are ah uh, thank you so much guys i'm ah uh, uh, exceptional card make thank you um so dali says let's do a stamperia stamp sale because good news stamperia is coming and i know some places and i was talking to dali about this and dali had uh, been speaking with stamperia um directly and what happens is sometimes people will get the stuff before i actually get it or dali gets it and the reason being is that the pads get manufactured before and other products um, get manufactured before but because we order everything um, in you know and whether it be in small quantities big quantities we have to wait till everything gets manufactured i mean we could get it earlier as it comes in but then i like to be able to ship out all in one go so ours is on its way so everybody who's got their pre-orders in or would like to order um stamp periods on its way so have no fear but anyway to make room for new dali says let's do a stamp period stamp sale and i said sure so then i want to put the stamps on see i was sick for a week i had nobody to talk to because my throat was so now i won't stop talking so i know i posted this and i was like when you shop your own sale because all of a sudden i realized some of the stamps that i really like were selling out so <laughs> i snuck a whole bunch but i played with two of them um the very first one i played was back so these are all 30 percent off they're um oh thank you terry thank you i really enjoyed making the little chopping board i think i'm gonna have another play i have a few of them um it's not that I don't, I don't mind bugs so much. I just don't like the hairy legs. They, I don't like hairy stuff on bugs. Um, but um, I really want to play with the bug set. And of course, Crate Art Inc. has, and one of our new books, <laughs> without giving it away, has some stuff in it that kind of resembles a little bit of this. But Crate ink art has the sewing machine the bodies in it and everything so i thought this would be great not just for me to use in other stuff but also to along with our book so the first thing i did that i posted was this was my practice run it was a little specimen card and you can see now the acetate on there so um i'd have to measure that for you um gloria how big is the chopping board um so I played with the bugs and I cut them out and I matted and layered and did some acetate there. But I really liked it and I cut all his hair off. I did not like it. But they're so high definition, you can see the detail. Um, so I really enjoyed making this. And then I thought, you know what, let's just do, if you haven't used high definition stamps or the detail that's in them, I thought, why not let's do... Um, some mixed media beginners tags and we're just gonna go with the flow and see what happens i haven't really really thought this one out too much because it's it's just we're just gonna go with the flow now what i can tell you is i think i only have two of these left and i know dali has already sold out um of the bugs unfortunately <laughs> that's why i pulled mine dali and now you can come play with mine if you want. Because um, some of the stuff that Stampier does, they don't re put it back into manufacturing. So you might never get it again. So you'll just have to play with mine now, Dali. And I have some of these left. Um, we have stencils actually matching that too, big stencil. So yeah, I had to chop off the, he is bold. He, I had to chop off the hair on the this thing. I didn't like it. June bug, that's it, Terry told me. It's called the June bug. Thank you, Terry. She had um, actually told me it was a June bug. Okay, let me see how big is this chopping board. So if you go from bottom to top, it's about 11 inches right up to here. And then the width on it is three and a quarter. It's so pretty, I love it. Okay, that's your questions answered there. Okay, so. Let's see, so obviously we're going to be playing with stamps and we're going to create two different styles of tags. One is just using media mist. She means the hair on the bug. Yeah, I chopped all the hair off um, because I didn't like the looks of it because it's so 
Yeah, not on this one. You can see the hair on this one. Um, I cut around it. It was just, oh, I don't know. It was giving me the eebie-jeebies. Um, but I always wanted a bug stump. And this is called, it's a bug's life. And we're just going to do some shadow stamping. Very, very simple, but yet very effective. And with this one, um, we're going to be doing this. There's a lot of build up in this card and you will see me building up. It's unfortunate that you can't see all the build up unless you can see it there. Um, but this has a lot of build up. This for all my sewing friends out there. Because I know there's lots. Okay, so let's get started. Like I said, I'm just going to go with the flow. <laughs> let's start with the bug stamp. I don't mind bugs. I don't, I, um, it's the squirmy things I don't like. Dali, do you remember in chemistry, was it chemistry or biology? Uh, we used to go on that school field trip. And we used to take potassium in watering cans. And we used to pour it on the ground to watch the worms come up. That was one, was it biology or chemistry? I don't even remember. Anyway, that's how we learned about early bird gets the worm. Apparently the potassium enriches the soil and the pitter patter from the watering can as the water goes down, brings the worms up. Hence they think, and that's what birds do. They pitter patter on the soil to make the worms come up because the worms think it's raining. There's your lesson for this morning. So, um, <laughs> I'm joking about the hair. Um, so medium mist. These are the two colors I used on this tag. Um, this one is so vibrant. I just love, love these medium mists. Um, this one is called Caribbean Blue. And this one, of course, my favorite, as everybody knows, is the turquoise green. But I've decided let's do something different. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we can sure try. Uh, red. And we're going to go with lemon, lemon and red. So let's go for it, shall we? See how this pans out. Got my trusty crafting cutting mat. Thanks to Wendy. Get some paper towels and let's see if I can uh, do this. So the first thing that we're going to do is let me bring it away from the light there is we're just going to spritz some of this down. I'm going to try and keep some of my tag a little bit white. So we're just going to... This is very, very rich. Might be too rich. But we'll see what happens. And then let's do a little bit of yellow. Like I said, we're just going to play. Oops. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring the tag straight down onto these beautiful, vibrant colors just like that you look at how vibrant they are okay and i'm trying to intentionally keep it um the yellow kind of onto one side and with the red onto the other but who knows what will happen bring some of that down such such pretty colors now I'm just going to pick up whatever we have here. Waste not, what not. And there we go. So don't worry if you're wondering, mm, my tag don't look like all that. We'll get there. I'm just going to do a little bit more yellow. I'm really liking this yellow color. So let's just bring in a little bit more yellow, just like that. So, so very vibrant, right? Now the tag will fold a little bit, it's just on um, 110 pound cardstock, but um, not to worry because you it will straighten out. I have mine under a set of books. So once you've picked up all your color, Clean off your mat, spritz some water. Don't forget Pentart products are all water soluble, which makes life so much easier. Okay, so let's dry that. So that was just easy. Um, no two are ever gonna turn out the same. Um, if it doesn't look very 
good or like me and thinking it was looking a bit splodgy or the colors didn't blend as well don't worry because by the time you're done with it um you won't even know so give it a chance <laughs> oh my god the whole whole facebook live is going to be about the hair now i've just realized i used a background stamp um and i think it was one of our new ones and of course now that i'm looking for i've probably hidden my new one somewhere I've probably put it somewhere now I can't find it so that's okay we will use a different one <laughs> this is what I do play around too much and then put things where I shouldn't but we have lots of background stamps we have this new one oh we have the crackle so good that they're in my reach hmm maybe I'll use a vortex see okay so let's go ahead and stamp. So what I had done, I had used our new stamp set Moments, which I've put somewhere, Moments, and um, I had stamped mo the music notes. It's called Inspire Notes because I really love the music with the bug. Good morning, Charlie. So we're just going to put this down in here. I never know whether you should put this down first or you should figure out what you where your stamp is gonna go I don't know so let's take out the big hairy bug that I don't like and I want to kind of offset him um, a little bit more than I did on my other tag I just want to kind of offset him to about about here okay now you'll see this tag come alive I'm gonna use VersaFine I really probably shouldn't uh, but my archival is running low the reason I'd like to use the archival is simply because um, it doesn't run then it's really good for mixed media I'm just patting my stamp here on the side Put these two out of the way. A little chatty Kathy today, aren't I? And let's just stamp. So you see how crisp is that bug? So crisp. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just not going to take the ink off. And I'm just going to do a few little... Um, gentle impressions in the background okay so i'm not taking um adding any more ink i sure use him a lot considering i don't know i don't even like him so do you see how that's kind of faded out and it's really dark there but that is such a pretty background i do like that color so next let's just go ahead and um i'm gonna print i'm gonna do some vortex on this because dolly knows i love the vortex stamp and it's so nice when you can um incorporate your own stamps i just want to take some of this off because I don't want it as dark and I'm just going to come in and I'm just again taking a little bit off 
coming in. You can see how it's just starting to come alive. And I like the subtlety of it. Not too much, not too little. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the bug stamp. And it's great how all these um, work together. And I am going to take the bug and we're just going to put the bugs just like that in some different areas. Okay. Don't always have to have all the stamp on there. Uh, am I supposed to do five? There you go. So you don't always have to have the whole stamp on there. Now, if you wanted to, you could also do some ghost stamping with the Afalai. So let's just tap that excess off. And I just ever so gently want the fly in there. Just like that. Can you see it? So really, this is a little bit different than um, my other one. But there you go. Okay, so now you've got some background going on. But isn't that simple? Isn't that a really nice mixed media panel right there? Okay, so let's put Mr. Berg away. Oh, I could have used my crackle. Love my crackle. And crackers, that's why I love crackle. Okay, now all you're going to do is you're gonna come in and you're just gonna distress the sides. Um, so for this, I'm gonna use stays on because um, we want to make sure that it stays on, hence it stays on, yeah? I'm going to find my stays on pad. This is what happens when you don't um, prepare properly. Pingo. Okay, well, maybe it's going to have to be my rundown archival. I don't know what I've done with half my stuff. So let me show you how cute is that card or tag. And this is incorporating the two different stamp sets. So we've got Stamperia and we've got Shock Art going on. But is that medium? It's just a beautiful color. So what we're going to do, as you know, as the Jill definitely knows, the way to finish off your tag is to come in and distress your sides. Okay. Now, on this one, um, I've got the white splatters and I've made it quite mixed media. So I'll show you how I did that, okay? However, I do so like it the way that it is right now. Um, but if you want to go tidy and pretty then I would leave it as it is. I always like to punch my hole after the fact because I find there's no interruption of the flow of color um, when I'm playing with it but this is just so 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 pretty. I really don't want to distress it but we're going to because I wish I should show you how I got it to the point where um, it was more distressed on the side. So First things first, let's do some splatters. Take my white paint, put some down. Put some water on there. See, too thick. I'm learning as I go along, practice right here on the mat how it looks. Splatters just makes everything pop. Okay. You see the splatters there? 
oh, just loving this tag. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do, this is quite watery, so I'm just going to add some more white paint to it just off to the side here. And then you just want to bring in your um, brayer and get some white paint on there. And then you just want to bring some into the sides like this. Just like this. And then I'll show you close up what it looks like once I've given it a bit of a dry. And then I'm just gonna, let me dry that before I go over it. And then you can take a little bit of more, a little bit of, a little, very little bit of white paint on there, not too much, and you can just go over it and give it that um, distressed look. But you don't want to put too much on. Okay. You just want to give it that very mixed media distressed look. Okay, so let's have a look at how that's looking right now. Just going to pop this in water. Clean off the mat here. Waste not what not, that's wasted white paint, but in order to do the next one, I need a clean slate. A clean glass mat. I'm just gonna wipe this off, but I am gonna be using this again for the next technique. So let's give this a bit of a dry. So there you have it, tag number one. Thank you, Charlie. Yes, um, actually, I was watching Dali playing with um, the brayer and just loved how she was doing. The next um, tag is all brayer based. So there you have it. How beautiful is that? Or is it just me that thinks it's beautiful? But see how well the medium is kind of went from that bright, intense red to an orange to a yellow. And then I added a little bit more. And then... Um, so you can see the high definition stamps there and i've incorporated like i said some of the shock art stamps um so there's your first tag and that's what it looks like so you have two different tags there a little bit of a different layout um thank you beautiful it is you sound like yoda <laughs> um from star wars if anybody doesn't know <laughs> so there you have it I'm actually very, very pleased with these colors. I didn't know how they were going to work. Well, maybe I did. So that's the first tag. Okay, the second tag is very, very um, brayer laden. Um, of course, I'm not going to be putting the ribbons and stuff in, but you know how I do my ribbon. It's just, um, thanks, Pat. It's just regular um, clear uh, cream lace, and then I just throw paint on it and whatnot. So we're going to do this one next. Okay. So I think let's just, um, I'll just go ahead and do the stamping first and then that way they can sit on the side and then I'll firstly cut them after. So because I'm going to use my Versafine here. There's so many gorgeous stamps. There's some tape in here. Um, there's a sewing machine. Oh, thanks, Brett. Of course you're going to like the blue one. Why am I not surprised? Um, thanks, Brett. Yeah, it's very subtle, the white. But it, it is there. I don't know if you guys can see. There is, um, can you see it, like, right there and stuff? It is on there. Very, very subtle. Um, so we're going to be using... I've used the girl 
um, and the handmade stamp. So let's start with that, shall we? But I will, I will do this one, and I will do the sewing machine just to show you how beautiful they stamp. Uh, you've got a button, thimble, crochet silk, fast color, the branded Armstrong company. You got safety pins, buttons, thread, so many, so many beautiful things um, on this one. And I'm going to be using this one directly onto my tag. <clears throat> okay, so let's do this one first, shall we? Now, even though these are thick stamps, um, they still work well in here. So let's go ahead and stamp. <laughs> Thank you, Britt. <laughs> I don't know. I love doing my little show and tell, you know. I should probably have this on a flatter surface. Might make life easier. Now this, this stamp set has a vintage feel to it. And I think that's why I was very, very drawn to it. Okay, let's see how this goes. They are thicker, so I'm just getting, see if I can get a good impression. Okay, so this one I didn't press down hard enough on, but you can see how gorgeous that impression is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this aside and let it dry kind of naturally. And let's move on to the next step. So let's get our tag. We're gonna go back to the brayer and we're gonna put um, color over the tag. Like I said, um, it's hard to tell the amount of layers there is on there. So we're going to, the colors that I'm going to use today are acrylic matte red clay. I've got some acrylic matte mint. I've got so many colors. I got beige matte. I got earthy brown matte. Oh my goodness. Oh, lots of colors. And I've got turquoise matte. Lots and lots of colors today. Get my trusted uh, coffee stirs to get the paint out. So the first color that I'm going to start off with, I think I'm going to put down, let's start with the, let's go dark to lightish kind of, shall we? I didn't do that on my original. I went with the red clay first. Oh, actually, let's not. It might overpower it, and then I'll be in trouble. So let's start with the clay. So all we're gonna do is um, <laughs> is put down a little bit of this paint, okay? And again, you're just gonna um, do a little bit of braying. Actually, I should put this on a different mat. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna come into your tag and you're just gonna put some down, just like this. Okay. And already you've created this really pretty background. Now don't worry about cleaning your brayer off at this point. And make sure you go in both directions because it gives a different effect coming off the side okay so once you've used up all that paint if you need to come back to this paint color you can afterwards if you find you've put too much of the other colors on so this is our very first layer with the brayer 
It is. I, I had a big prayer and then I picked up a smaller one uh, not so long ago. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to come in with a little bit of mint. And we're going to do the same thing. I might try and make this tag a little bit lighter. So I'm not cleaning off my brayer. I'm just going to use what I have here. And again, we're doing the same thing. Just put some on to here. And then now you're doing your second set. So this is now what your second set looks like okay and then you can just keep going on and building up your colors I'm gonna come in with some brown to make it a little bit darker it's too light right now for my liking again don't worry about cleaning off your brayer just um, go for it okay and this one I'm going to start bringing in from the edge first. That's the darkest I want it. Now don't worry if you go too dark. Because you have the beige paint or you can pull out another different color paint. not want money. Okay, so you just continue building up. Uh, lost the power to my laptop. So I can't see anything. I am, I'm a, like all over the place today. Forgot to plug in my laptop um, and everything. So everything has gone now. I've lost my lights. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those days today. Okay. So just bear with me. So what you're going to do at this point, then you can come in and I'm going to put in some beige. And this is just layer building. Okay. This is just building layers. I don't know. I think I've lost power completely here. So let's bring in some beige. Again, we just want to put some on our brayer. Look, Dali, I'm having technical difficulty. I lost my power. Okay, there we go. We're back on again. Silly girl. Glad you guys put up with my antics. And it totally gives it a different look as you keep going and building the layers. It totally gives it a different look. And as I said, this one, I'm going to try and make a little bit lighter. Um, I don't want it as dark. I like that kind of um, white look in there too. I might actually bring a little bit more beige into that. To bring in a little bit more clay um, I love that brownish color see so there's no um, like don't worry about if you have to go back and forth um, with the colors it's not a super big deal yeah it mellows it right down you see 
see how I've introduced that color back in there? Also very subtle. As you can see, I'm using very, very, very little paint. So this tag is going to be quite a bit different than my other one. I'm going to bring in a little bit more brown. I'm just having too much fun with it, aren't I? And come in from the sides. a lot of paint as you can see maybe just a tad more and then I'm gonna to top it off with just a little bit more beige you guys are like she's not stopping As you can see, it's very little paint. But what it basically does, you just keep building layer upon upon layer. But I will stop here because otherwise I'm just going to keep going with my layers. Okay, so put your brayer to the side. And then what you can do is clean everything off. Not that there's much to clean off in this case. Okay, put these to the side. Now, don't forget, you can keep coming in with these paints. It's not a big deal. You can come in as many times as you want. Make sure I get the right lids so that we have beige. I love this red clay. I haven't used a turquoise yet. I'm going to save that till the end, or I might actually go back to the mint. We have the earthy brown, and then we have the mint, which of these two I might borrow, use again in a minute. I'll clean this down. Okay, so let's now do some stamping, shall we? So we'll bring this back out. I'll take these ones off. Let's put down our tape. And now I'm just going to randomly... Um, <laughs> I've lost one of my magnets. This is what I do. What's wrong with me? I'm just going to randomly just tape the tape. I do, the, uh, <laughs> stamp the tape. Hopefully in a straight line. Now, you don't have to do it as many times as I'm doing it. I think I just really like this stamp. Now, there's nothing stopping you from flipping this over and doing it this way either, although it might not fit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do it by hand. Just like that. Sorry, did I do that off camera? Um, so I was just saying there's nothing wrong with doing it across. Just that it doesn't fit in the misty thing. Although I could take turn this around. Okay. 
Okay, so now I have somewhat of a background started. Okay, and that's all I really need to do at this point when it comes to the stamps. Oh, look what I found. So let's take this off. So now our background is already coming together just because we did some stamping. And that's what I mean. When you look at your background and you feel like uh, that doesn't look like a proper background. Wait till you're done and you will see what it really looks like at the end. Hi, Bimmy. Okay, so now let's go back to here and we are going to do some fussy cutting as soon as I find my fussy cutting scissors. Oh goodness, what a day. It's only just started. So let's cut out the girl here. So I've got the stamps right here and I have no patience for fussy cutting, but I am working on a project which I can't reveal yet. Well, one, it's not finished. And two, um, it's uh, another Crate and Craft June release. Uh, it's an another set of big format papers. And I'm doing lots of fussy cutting from there. And I'm telling you, it takes patience to do fussy cutting. I try to put on soothing music see if that would relax me and I could do some cutting. No, I just want to go fast. See what I do? I just, just no patience for fussy cutting. This is how I fussy cut. I don't know how anybody else fussy cuts. They say turn the paper rather than your scissors. I haven't mastered that yet. No, I could do this on the brother scan and cut. If somebody would come over and teach me how to use my brother scan and cut, that would be great. I have buyer's remorse with my brother's scan and cut because I haven't taken the time to figure it out. It sits there looking also pretty, but I tried to use it to do the fussy cutting for what I'm working on. Yeah, I couldn't even figure that out. It said the paper was too patterned or something. Hopefully I don't chop the leg off. Okay, so already, look at how nice that is looking, just by putting that stamp on there. Okay. Baby, you don't like fussy cutting? Yeah, me neither. It's not my, it's not my go-to thing. I'm just cutting out the handmade. And because I definitely won't be able to fussy cut around that thread part, I'm just going to cut right around it. And this will never be straight because I can't cut straight either. Maybe that's why I like mixed media. Now on mine, I've given it a black background so it stands out a little bit more. Um, even though I didn't apply enough pressure for this uh, tape to stamp i'm going to cut it out because i just want to see if there's somewhere where i can put it i won't do the machine because um now i could have used the machine in the background i did on my other one i won't do the machine because that will take me a little bit longer So already, just with those few cuttings, we are getting there. But I want to jazz this. Um, thanks, Royette. I know you're like a master on it. That would be brilliant. Okay, so next step, we're going to jazz this up a little bit more. I want to make it a little bit more grungier. It's still a little bit too um, 
whitish looking so not whitish um, a little bit light for me and now I'm going to introduce the um, turquoise but what I'm going to do with the turquoise is my also favorite thing is splatters because I want to incorporate some splatters in there Get my colored splatter brush. I have two, oopsie daisy, I have two splatter brushes because I'm too scared. So now I've made that too watery, but we'll see what happens. Make that a little bit thicker. Now I'm liking it. Now I've got this really nice pop of color in there and everywhere else. So let me just show you. Now can you see that pop of color in there? So you can see the background on this one, um, how the layers have um, incorporated them. Let's see who cut all the best. No way, Doug. No way. No can do. You guys just want to see me sweat. Okay, so now we're just going to take this brush that we have already here with some paint on it. And now look what we're going to do. We're going to further enhance our um, tag. And because it's almost very little on your brush, it's going to give you, and I'll show you a close up. It's going to give you this really neat, do you see it? It's like really, really neat, kind of almost peeled paint look. So you're just going to do that. Just take what you have there. And by doing this, all you're doing is you're bringing in some more of that color. I do really love the turquoise. And the reason it's doing this is, is because you've got so many layers sprayed on underneath. It's picking up the raised part of the paint. That's all. Okay. I'll show you again. It's just picking up, you can see right here, just the raised areas of the paint. But you can see, look at all that texture on that tag. This is all just done with um, a little bit of braring different colors. Okay, so just doing a light brush over that. I'm quite happy uh, with the tag, the way it's looking. But of course I have to bring my trusty white out as my final splatter thing. Wouldn't be no fun without the white. So that was the turquoise. Now, another way to also do this is to stamp on um, double-sided um, or, or on um, scotch tape, and then you put that down, and then it would be like a transparent film on there too. I can do that um, on another Facebook Live and show you what I mean. Okay, so. Let's get some, this already has some water on it. I think Dali and I would have like splatter queens. Just like to splatter everything. Okay. Now, if at this point it's too dark for you, a good time um, to bring in the white. So if there's areas you want to highlight, you can brayer in the white at this point, but you can see the measuring tape on there where I've actually done it. Um, just because I want to, I'm just gonna bring in a little bit of the white, just to even further build up what I have already going on there. So 
let me show you my mat is a mess thank god it's glass but can you see all the texture and the stamping all so subtly in there so next step we are going to like i said i like to punch my hole after the fact and what i'm going to do is as usual lost my stuff i don't know what's going on i'm just going to come in and um give the tag a little bit of uh, just to make it pop even more and this is pretty good because this is um 110 pound cardstock and it has managed to withhold the paint and the layers and everything if you want to make it a little bit more grungier on the sides don't be afraid to bring in some color I just go with the flow okay We're getting there, we're getting there. My mat's gonna need a lot of cleaning. You can see now all that goodness, all that goodness that we've worked on. But it was so easy, it's just really all in the brayer. And the brayers are really nice because they just pop out and uh, the paint comes pretty much right off. So next thing that we're gonna do to finish this off we can bring in a couple of um, embellishments. I've got some flowers here. Um, I've got some twine here. So you can just, I won't put it together. I mean, I won't keep you guys, I'm not that mean. I'll try and do this without making a big wally of myself. So you can just wrap that right around however you want to. I'm just going to tuck it behind for now. I won't do all the gluing and stuff. See if it will stay. And then for all you sewers, I'm sure you guys have um, the thread and stuff like that I would probably obviously cinch this here just scrunch up some thread because it is all about sewing today whoopsie daisy put it down and then you want to have if you want you can have an accent color I don't want too much of this color, um, just a little bit. And of course, you're gonna do your placement properly. Don't just do it willy-nilly like me. You can come put her down. I put this on a black background on my original. And then I just wanted to see, um, see, it's so simple, right? See how easily it comes together? And then just throw on some complementary colored flowers you can come in and you can even um, color these a little bit if you want to it's entirely up to you and then just do your placement how however you want to and there i hope you guys will all go and get a brayer and of course, Pentar acrylic paints. And of course, the Stamperia stamps, because um, as you can see, they do wonders. So there you have it. Um, I should let you know the sale is, oh, the monitor that almost looks like a natural rug. It, uh, it, it actually really does mean. Um, like I said, I wish, sometimes I just wish you guys could just crawl right in and see this virtually because uh, no, literally, I mean, because it's just so much texture there. So similar, I mean, they ended up in a similar color. You can go light or darker. I do want to let you know the Stamperia stamps. I believe Dali the Sale ends tomorrow um, for the 30% off on the stamps. 
but here is the second tag a little bit different I've incorporated the um, measuring tape but very very similar um, thanks Han that's Dali I'm saying Han too <laughs> you guys are wondering um, but I'll put them on a black sheet for you here so you can see I won't like I said glue them down but this one's got more of a well I don't know more beige or more speckled kind of look and the other one oh, I don't know they look kind of similar this one's more brighter is it yes this one's definitely more brighter so you have those two tags there and then of course um the two bugs we got the two bugs right there um so very similar in the sense that we use the brayer on both this one only for the white and then lots of brayering and you saw very very little um, paint but i hope they were inspirational and um you're very welcome Kirsty. thank you our angel thank you dali um i hope they're inspirational and and you'll apply these techniques somewhere i'm sure most of you already know them but it's always good for me to go back to um and do them and thanks dali because you inspired me to get the brayer out and play with the brayer okay that's it for me today don't forget i got the alice card kit and the fancy floral card kit um yes go from the beginning uh, our angel thanks brett thank you i'm so glad you could jo uh, join us thanks men Thanks, Pat, and I will see you guys uh, next week. Dali will be um, live on Thursday, uh, which I might be 11 o'clock. No, I don't know. I've forgotten. Uh, 8 o'clock our time, 8 o'clock. Okay, then, guys, have a wonderful day and go create and have fun. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.